What's up guys, tonight I'm going to show you how to root your uh, T-Mobile Samsung Galaxy S4. The first thing we're going to want to do is get into the settings. You're going to want to go to more, scroll down to about device. You're going to scroll down to the build number. You're going to tap this seven times. I've already done it and what that does is unlock developer options. You back out once and that's where it appears. It wasn't there before that. Go ahead and go in there and check USB debugging. Now before you shut down the phone, you're going to want to put this file that I put in step two under the description of the video and you're going to want to transfer this file right here to the root of your phone or your SD card. Go ahead and power the device off. Now what you're going to want to do is put the phone into download mode. And how we do this is we hold the volume down key, the home, and the power at the same time. You're going to feel it vibrate once, then let go of the power button. It's going to give you an option. It's going to uh, ask you if you want to abort. You would press down on the volume. We want to go through with it. You press up. Take your factory USB cable, plug it into your computer, and then plug it into your phone. Set it down. Now you're going to want to open up your Odin 3.0.7. Under the description, I left links to all the files that you need. What you're going to want to do is uncheck the auto reboot. We usually use that when we're flashing other phones or, or rooting other phones. However, if you do that this time, it won't overwrite the files properly, so we have to do a battery pull. You're going to click on PDA, and we are going to install Clockwork Mod 6.0.3.2. I left the link to, um, to do two different options. You can either just install the Clockwork Mod 6.0.3.2 or the Touch. I'm going to go ahead and install the Touch. Press OK. Hit start. This takes about five seconds. Wait for it to say pass. Now make sure you do have the correct drivers. Uh, I, I missed this part before. Excuse me, my bad. Uh, go ahead and download your Samsung keys. That gives you all the drivers you need. If you don't, Odin will not pick up your phone. From here, you just unplug your USB cable and do a battery pull. Put your battery back in. And now we will be going into recovery and to do this it's going to be slightly different. We're going to hold up instead of down on the volume, your home key and your power button all at the same time. Once you feel it vibrate once, let go of your uh, power button. You're going to see a status bar on the top of that. See it's bluish. You're going to keep holding your up and your uh, home key. We're into Clockwork Mod Recovery. From here, we're going to install zip from SD card. We're going to choose zip from SD card. You're going to have to press on that first option that says zero. We're going to navigate down to where it says root M919. You're going to click yes to install. Go back and reboot your system. This is simple, simple guys. Follow these steps. You won't you won't break your phone. We'll have no problems or issues. Now I went to the XDA developers website. I do want to give a shout out to Jimmy McGee over at the XDA developers website. Now how you're going to know this is rooted, you're going to get into your app drawer and you're going to look for your super user 
application here. Where is it? Where is it? And there it is. Okay, let's go to the Google Play Store here. We are going to download Root Checker Pro so I can show you that this is uh, rooted here. We're going to open it up. Agree. Okay. Let's verify root. We're going to allow. This is a asking for super user request. We allow. Congratulations. Device is rooted. Uh, thanks, guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I will help you out if you have any issues. Uh, until then, take care. Good night.